Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And once again, I'm with Bob Cook from the Manchester Institute of Psychotherapy. And I've got a question to ask you, Bob. Oh. You okay? What do you say yeah. after you say hello? Oh, my gosh. That sounds like an Eric Byrne book. It does. And we've given the game away. <laughs> It, we we, we're, we're we're reviewing our Bob's review in this seminal book. It really is um, and a really important book written in 1969, just before Byrne sadly died. But it's it's an enduring book for both therapists and like games people play, which is the other book um, for the general public. So what is it about, and why is it so enduring, Bob? This was first book he did, of course, was Transaction Analysis and Psychotherapy. Second book was about games. Third book was about dynamic, dynamics of organisations. The fourth was principles of organisations. And then came this book, What Do You Say After You Say Hello, by Eric Byrne. And it is about script. Right. Now, the idea of script in TA is that we decide early on in life, unconsciously, a life plan. And then we basically follow it. Yeah, and I can give you an example of that. Many years ago, I was teaching a student, and we would teach a little bit about script. And um, and uh, they said, "Oh, I'm not quite sure that I can buy into this script business." And I said, "When you when you when you when you were because I'm not a TA therapist, I'm a personal sensor therapist, but I taught as a comparative um, th theory." And I said, "When you were um, you know when you were younger, what what did you like to watch the TV? And she said, Emergency Ward 10, which was all about a hospital. It was a hospital drama. And I said, what do you do for a living now? She said, I'm a paramedic. Oh, there we are. That's script. Yeah. 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 The idea that you take your, what in childhood and you build on those ideas through the arc of your life. Yeah. So why is this book, why is this book an interesting read, Bob? It's about script, but why is it important or useful to, for people to understand that? Because if you can get to grips with the, you know, the unconscious script or unconscious life plan, then you can change it. Oh, okay. Yeah. If, you, if it stays conscious and hidden from you and you don't take ownership of it, you'll keep on uh, simply reprogramming it for the rest of your life. If you can get hold of the script and the life plan, you can actually decide to change it. Yeah, and you can you can change your life by changing this kind of yeah. script. The idea that we're like actors, players in our uh, own lives, and we sub yeah, and we yeah. So Eric Byrne said, you know, let, you know, find out about your script, uh, get a new script on the road, and take charge of your own destiny. Yeah, so instead of being in the same old soap opera, get yourself a, a, a blockbuster leading part. Is <laughs> <laughs> it been like Groundhog Day? You ever yeah, see Groundhog yeah, Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That film that you just keep playing over and over and over your own script. And of course, that'll happen if it's unconscious and out of your awareness. You'll be driven by these early decisions in your childhood. Yeah. If you can become aware of them, take ownership of them, you have chance to change and put a new show on the road and be in charge of your own destiny instead of be caught up in this ever-ending loop yeah and it makes it makes perfect sense doesn't it that the lessons we learn as children we develop and take through the arc of our lives until it's either challenged in therapy or yeah. become aware of it yeah so does yeah. does does uh burn you know, if you were, if I was a lay person reading this, someone who didn't know anything about psychotherapy, how would this book inform me? Do you think? Oh, you start to realise the patterns that you play throughout your life. You start to realise if you've got a winner's life plan or you've got a loser's life plan, and you start to realise that actually you could have a better, a better, higher sense of life if you could, you know, just a bit, you know, change this this life plan and. Uh, be in charge of your own destiny. Wouldn't that be marvellous, Wally? Oh, it is. You know, and there's a there's a great poem, isn't there, called um, "A Life in Five Parts" by Patricia, Patricia yeah. Nelson. I put a link in below, but it it really yeah. is good. And if you ever hear it narrated, it makes so much sense about walking down the street and falling yeah. down the same pothole. You know. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. And if you're a TA student talking about TA students, they have to read this book because as a TA therapist, uh, one of the really standout uh, features of being a TA therapist 
is that you help the public uh, be aware of their life plan and then help them actually be able to change it, take charge of their own destiny and have a better sense of life. Yeah. I know, I've seen that. I've seen that so often when when I explained scripts where people realise, you know, a classic a classic example is is a student who's been who's been told that you know they're not very bright because they're dyslexic, and and yeah. and they carry that through their life. I didn't go to college. I didn't yeah. do this, and and then yeah. when you say, well, actually, you are, you know, what 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 part of not bright do you think you are? Well, you know, I can't write properly. Yeah, but neither could Einstein. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like a great book. And I tell you what, I like a lot about this book, Bob. You can pick it up quite cheaply on auction sites. Oh, ten p. Yeah, ten p. Ten p for all that wisdom. Yeah, ten, I would say ten p, but I've seen them at two pounds. It's a paperback. It's nineteen sixty nine. It's quite old now, but you know it's a gem. Yeah. It's an absolute gem. It is uh, a Bible. Yeah, in my opinion. is it the what is it the kind of book you might give to a client in TA and and get them to? Yeah, yeah, and to look at their own scripts. Absolutely, the yeah. same as the games book. You would give those games book to clients as well. Yeah. Well, Bob, as always, it's a, a pleasure um, hearing you review a book. As always, this is a not a paid review. Bob does this for the no. love of the books. And also we'll put a description, a link in the description below. And also I'll put a link in, I think, okay. to this um, poem by Patricia Nelson, because I think that really does sum up scripts. It really is, really is good. So as always, Bob Cook, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.